What is up guys? This is Theo here coming to you live with another coding tutorial video using JavaScript. Today I'm going to implement a custom search function. Um, before I've done a custom map function. So we're going to do a custom search function. So normally if we have an array of numbers and we have three, four, if we were to do console.log numbers dot search for then um, oh sorry I guess it doesn't work on uh, it doesn't work on a uh, array it only works on a string so if we have uh, we have names and we just make this a string of Theo, John, Rick, and James. And if we were to search Theo, then we should get should get zero, which means it's found. Otherwise if I were to put in um, F we should get a negative one, which means it's not found. Um, to put in Rick, it's going to tell us the position that it, it starts finding it at. So that's that. Basically, we're going to implement our own function for that. So we're going to implement it on, um, I guess we can just implement it on the array prototype. So we'll do array.prototype.search is equal to a function. And we're going to say if array dot is array this if array dot is array this this is semicolon um then for we'll run a for loop um uh, equals this and a function and it's going to take in a target and i is less than this dot length i plus plus so this is really simple implementation and uh if this of i is equal to the target returning bound plus target at plus i and let's see what is this necessary semicolon so now we got the implementation and let's try it out so we have bar numbers one two three four five and if we log numbers dot search five, and we should say found five at position, found five at position four. If we do it without, it should be undefined. Um, I guess we could say, please search a value. So we can say if or if and search a value because there's no we just return please search a value now we get the token catch let's just go back to logging it so now we'll try and um, 
else if we return we'll get console.log not found. So now if we change this to 10, it should say not found. Go back to change it to 3. Found 3 at position 2. And then if we do 10, not found. So there's your custom search function used with the array prototype. You can implement the very same thing using a string. And again, it's just nice to know how to add these uh, custom functions to your toolbox, sort of extend the array prototype to implement functions you might need. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, always appreciate the feedback. Help me get to 100 subscribers and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, have a great day.